So, using the shape of the sponge, I've loaded red and blue, and I've mixed together the red and blue to make a purple. And then using the shape of this sponge, we're simply going to press it down to make our next tiara. This is another form of stenciling, which is really quick and efficient to make shapes for different things that you want to do. The more you press into those colours, the more they will blend together. We're using the round brush loaded with white, and what we're doing is we're doing our teardrop shapes. Good girl. Again with the round brush, I'm now going to bring some scroll lines out. Very good girl. The job of the dots and your comma strokes and any marks like this <clears throat> is to simply bring your design together. So you can use your fillers in any way that you like to just finish off the design. Again using the white and the round brush. The round brush gives you really nice fine strokes so now we can start finishing off this crown. And again, some dots and fillers. Once we're finished with the paint, I'm going to start using some glitter to just highlight this as well. Good girl. Also in the Princess Pack, you'll find some fantastic glitters. And what's a fairy tiara without some glitter in it? So we're going to use this like little gemstones. So we're going to put a little bit of aqua just in the middle there. And now we're going to use just dots like jewels just along that white line that we created before. I'm going to use a little bit of purple as well with this one. Sitting very still. You're doing a beautiful job for me, Princess Ashley. You can use your imagination with these dots and put them anywhere you like. Just hands on that and the other way I like to use this glitter, you can either use it as a dot or you can do these wonderful wavy lines that come down. A bit like ribbons falling from a tiara. 